Let's group our items together and let's talk about custom tags. 121 Minecraft modding course is available down below. With over 11 hours of content covering everything from the basics all the way to block entities and custom mobs. Alright, we found some back and gentlemen once more. And in this tutorial, we're going to be talking about custom tags over here. So custom tags, these are not name tags. No, 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 no. Those are the same tags that we've seen previously when we were talking about the mineable and the needs X tool tags. So basically collections of items, blocks, or whatever type of, you know, elements or things you can add to Minecraft. Now in our example, what we're going to do is we're going to make a custom tag that we're going to use in the magic block over here. So obviously we've seen we can throw a raw pink garnet onto the magic block and it's going to turn into a diamond. However, what I want to do is I want to make a custom tag that's going to basically check, hey, what is the stack or what is the item that we've thrown onto this particular block, right, on the magic block, and if that is a part of this tag, then I want to change it into a diamond. The positives here are basically going to be that it is easier expandable, right, so we can easily extend it by just adding more things to the tag, right, more items to the tag. We could also add optional elements to the tag, including optional items from other mods, and thirdly, other mods could add their own items into that if they want to build a compatibility with our own mod. So it just makes a lot of sense doing this. So let's see what we can do here. For us to add tags, we need basically to add those in two different, well, sort of situations or locations. We wanted to add it via the code so we can actually access it via the code and then also add it as a JSON file in our data folder. Let's first of all start with the code. So in our tutorial mod package, we're going to right click new package called util. And then inside of there, we're going to make a new Java class called the mod tags class. This mod tags class will have two static classes. The first one is the public static class blocks in this case. And the second one is the public static class called items. And let's start with the items over here. We need one helper method, very straightforward, a private static tag key of type item, import that class as well. And then we're going to create that tag over here, create tag as one word, there you go. And that's going to be having a string name parameter. Here we're going to return tag key dot of passing in registry, registry key dot registry keys dot item, and then an identifier dot of tutorial mod dot mod ID, and then passing in the name right here. And there we go. And what we can do is then copy this over to the blocks and simply change the tag key of item to tag key of block, making sure we choose net Minecraft block over here. So the correct block class. And then here we simply want to change this to the block registry keys. And there we go. We now have made both of the classes and we can add the item tag. The item tag, very straightforward as well. Public static final tag key of type item. It's going to be the transformable underscore items equal to the create tag method and then transformable underscore items. And there we go. Now the name here is going to be the name of the JSON file. We're going to see that in just a second, but let's first of all, take this particular tag key and actually use it in the magic block. Now this is going to be very straightforward. So in our magic block class, instead of doing it like this, what we're going to do is in the if statement here, we're going to call a method that doesn't exist yet. So it's going to be read. It's going to be is valid item. And we're going to pass in item entity dot get stack. And what we can then do is simply hover over this and create that method. And it's going to create that method exactly like we want it to. You can see it's a Boolean method and has the stack over here. And here we can simply then return stack dot is in passing in mod tags dot items dot transformable items. And there we go. Now, instead of checking one specific item, it's going to actually check the entire tag right here. So is the item that we've thrown onto this particular block, is that part of this tag? And if it is, well, then we're going to change it into a diamond. That's pretty cool. And now the only thing left to do is to actually create this tag. For this, I'm going to copy over the name right here. So I'm just going to copy it, control C to copy that over just so that the name is definitely written correctly. Otherwise, you might run into issues and your custom tags go under the data folder, tutorial mod, a new directory called tags, and then inside of there, another new directory called item, because in this case, it is an item tag. And inside of that item, 
directory a new file called transformable underscore items.json and the contents here i'm just going to copy over you can see i added the pink garnet and the raw pink garnet there's a coal like basically coal we can throw onto there a stick and then also an apple and all of those will then turn into diamonds if i throw them onto the magic block and that's basically how easy it is once again this tag could then also in theory be used by other mods which is really like incredibly useful right the fact that this is possible that is basically the whole idea but that is everything that we need to do so let's jump into the game and see if it works all right found this back in minecraft and i've taken a couple of items over here so all of those items should be in the tag except for the nether quartz so if we throw the nether quartz on there you can see it does not work however all of the rest of the items so the apple turns into a diamond over here if i hit once again the stick's gonna turn into diamonds and yes even the coal is going to turn into diamonds and then of course both raw pink garnet as well as the normal pink garnet all turn into diamonds so we have diamonds galore over here absolutely freaking fantastic and that is custom tags added to minecraft awesome as always of course all of the code is available down below but that's gonna be it for this tutorial right here next time in this video oh we'll do some custom data gen hope to see you there so yeah